The polar regions of the world are together around four times the size of the whole of Europe. Apart from many thousands of square kilometers of snow, ice, and a few animals, there is supposedly not much to be found there. The Antarctic in the Southern Hemisphere is even considered to be the largest and loneliest contiguous area on Earth. According to conspiracy theories and UFO researchers, extraterrestrials are said to take advantage of this fact and maintain secret underground bases, especially at the South Pole. Today, we take a look at what soldiers have found in Antarctica in this regard and introduce you to 10 other shocking and exciting things that have been found in the ice. Aliens in the Antarctic In June and July 1965, a team of 17 people traveled to Antarctica. The group was made up of Argentinian and Chilean soldiers who undertook a training tour from their base in Aguirre Cerda to the sub-Antarctic island of Deception. During the exercise, the soldiers sighted a UFO that circled over southern Argentina for about an hour and then disappeared towards Antarctica. Interestingly, the same apparition was reported by British soldiers at the time. They had also seen something completely independently of the South American soldiers, which they described as a UFO in their reports. However, the British soldiers only saw the light phenomenon for about 10 minutes. According to other eyewitness reports, sightings like this were not uncommon around Antarctica at the time. The soldiers didn't even make a big deal out of it. They simply noted the sighting in their troop reports and then went back to other things. Today, investigative journalists and UFO researchers are all the more interested in such sightings. After all, the rumors that there are one or more alien bases under the eternal ice of Antarctica are not getting any quieter. U.S. director John Carpenter also took up the subject in 1982. His film, The Thing from Another World, tells the story of 12 members of an American research station in the Antarctic. The soldiers are haunted by an eerie creature that takes over their bodies and kills them as soon as it moves on. If there really are aliens in Antarctica, let's all hope they're a bit friendlier. Life in the Vostok Sea in addition to South Americans and Britons, there are also Russian researchers and soldiers in Antarctica. A team of underwater explorers has found an underground lake near the Russian station Vostok. It doesn't sound spectacular at first, but this lake is hidden under thick layers of ice at an incredible depth of 3,700 to 4,100 meters. With a length of 250 kilometers, a width of 50 kilometers, and a depth of up to 1,200 meters, Lake Vostok is one of the largest lakes on Earth. The so-called subglacial lakes under the Antarctic ice sheet are not so rare. 370 smaller lakes are now known. The fact that there is liquid water in the depths of the South Pole is a mystery of the Antarctic. But it was not only the presence of liquid water under the thick ice that surprised the researchers. After drilling, the Vostok Sea turned out to be an unusually species-rich body of water. Researchers found a variety of bacteria, fungi, worms, sea anemones, crabs, and primordial bacteria at depths of 3,563 to 3,621 meters. The samples are currently being analyzed. The researchers suspect that some of the creatures are several million years old and can provide valuable information about Antarctica's past. Lake Michigan Lighthouse. This picture of the St. Joseph Lighthouse shows that it can get freezing cold in Michigan in the north of the USA. This bizarre natural spectacle is created when icy cold, strong winds and the humidity over Lake Michigan come together. The icy cold wind causes rising humidity to freeze immediately and slaps the small ice particles against buildings, railings, and paths. This creates cones of surreal beauty. In particularly cold and long winters, the lighthouse, built in 1859, disappears completely under a thick crust of ice, creating a truly ghostly impression. Frozen Alligators You might think that alligators are only found in tropical regions of the world. Pictures of alligators from the USA show that this is not true. In the states of Mississippi and North Carolina, it can freeze during extreme cold spells, and this is where most alligators in the USA live, along with Florida. The prehistoric reptiles use a trick to help themselves in such cases. They sense the approaching cold very accurately and willingly allow themselves to freeze slowly. 
However, they carefully leave their long mouth with the nostrils protruding from the water surface during shock freezing. While all vital functions are throttled back as far as possible, the seemingly lifeless bodies continue to breathe minimally, enough to survive the cold and then thaw out again. If the cold lasts for a very long time, or if the animals belong to managed reserves, the rangers sometimes arrive and take the almost motionless frozen alligators out of the water to bring them into safe and warmer enclosures. Alien Egg What the hell is that? That's what some walkers thought when they discovered something at a lake in Utah that they had spontaneously labeled an alien egg. Curious, the shocked people examined the structure on the shore of a frozen lake. The shape, pattern, and perfect lines of the strange object were reminiscent of a crop circle, except that this geometric circle had grown in the ice. After a thorough investigation, the walkers were still not sure what they had found. They later posted the images online and reported the find to the Forestry Administration. After a few days, the alien case was solved. A group of students from a nearby art academy had carved the strange-looking shape into the ice as part of a school project. Frozen Fish In 2016, researchers from Shanghai published a truly creepy video. In it, the men place a fish in a bowl that had previously been frozen for several weeks. After a few moments, the fish swims again in the warm water as if nothing had happened. It is known that some amphibian species can reduce their life support system so well in the cold that they appear dead but are still alive. The fact that fish that had been frozen for several weeks were also able to do this was a shocking anomaly for scientists in the West. What astonished researchers in the USA and Europe is said to be quite normal in Japan's sushi restaurants. There, certain fish are preserved in exactly this way. Instead of freezing them dead, they are frozen alive and then brought back to life shortly before preparation. Old Viking Garb in the far north of Norway, the glaciers are thawing like everywhere else in the world. Although this represents a catastrophe for nature and for mankind as a whole that cannot yet be fully assessed, the melting also has certain advantages. Never before have researchers been able to recover so many artifacts from times long past, and so easily. Utility objects, weapons, and skeletons from the Viking Age are now simply lying around in the glacier regions. One of the latest finds is a tunic made of wool fibers, estimated to be 1,700 years old, which must have once been worn by a proud Viking. The garment was woven and sewn in the simplest of ways. The researchers found hunting utensils nearby. As no skeleton could be recovered, the archaeologists assumed that the tunic and hunting weapons belonged to some kind of camp. A Viking probably deposited his belongings here around 300 AD and at a good hunting ground. In this way, he did not have to carry the items from his settlement to the hunting ground every time. Frozen Giant Squid Fishermen found a frozen giant squid in the waters around Antarctica. The animal was handed over to researchers. Investigation showed that the giant squid had probably been frozen for six months. The female animal could have been surprised by the sudden onset of cold weather or the approximately four meter long animal was ill and was therefore no longer able to escape to the warmer and deeper waters of the Antarctic. Giant squid are normally animals of the deep sea. They are rarely caught. For a long time, these colossi, which can grow up to 10 meters in size, were a legend. But in the meantime, specimens have been found all over the world, confirming that these monstrous giants of the deep sea, with their deadly tentacles and fangs, are not just a sailor's yarn, but absolute reality. Ivory Under Glaciers Thanks to the melting of thousands of square kilometers of permafrost and glaciers, more and more relics of prehistoric animals such as mammoths are appearing in Russia. It is not just bones or amazingly well-preserved remains of fur that are being found from these animals. Mammoths have left behind a completely different treasure that is now causing a veritable gold rush in Russia's north. The gigantic tusks of up to three meter high giants provide valuable ivory, which is not only sought after on the Russian black market. The men can earn up to $100,000 a week. 
In return, the tusk hunters camp out in adverse conditions, digging for weeks in the mud of the melting glaciers with little regard for the environment or other relics that are important for science. So far, the Russian government has not put an end to this activity. However, both Russian and foreign researchers are currently trying to have the extraction of mammoth tusks banned, or at least regulated by the state. Anaconda Ice Cave Iceland is currently still enjoying sufficiently cold winters and icy natural spectacles. One particular highlight is the Anaconda Ice Cave, which winds like a snake under the Vanajokal Glacier. Like its namesake, the Anaconda Ice Cave is in constant motion. Meltwater, new frost, and the natural watercourses around the cave reshape the corridors and rooms inside every year. Visitors can enter the cave at a depth of around 100 meters. A sparkling ice world of blue and turquoise sections is revealed to astonished visitors. The play of colors captivates thousands of people every year. The ice here is blue because it is unusually dense and hard. In spring, the cave melts to a certain extent, but with the onset of winter, it once again increases in size and beauty. Antarctic Ice Fish In 1927, fishermen found a strikingly pale fish in the Antarctic. When they examined the catch more closely, they were shocked to discover that the animal had white blood. The fish, which was given the name Antarctic ice fish, actually lacked red blood cells. Although these are essential for transporting oxygen in the blood, Antarctic ice fish can breathe. Presumably, they simply take in air through their skin in the extremely oxygen-rich waters. Antarctic ice fish are by no means a rare species. Together with other fish, they are perfectly adapted to life in the cold. Antarctic ice fish colonize large areas. As recently as 2021, researchers found a connected ice fish breeding colony the size of the island of Malta. Around 60 million nests are lined up in this area. This makes the Antarctic ice fish one of the strongest animal populations at the South Pole. Blood Red Waterfall To conclude this video, we show you another rare natural phenomenon that researchers have found in the ice of Antarctica. The Taylor Glacier got its nickname Bleeding Glacier from the deep red-colored water that flows into the sea at this point all year round. Only an underground spring or a river could be the source of this extraordinary water. The water contains an unusually high amount of iron, which oxidizes and turns deep red as soon as it comes in contact with oxygen. The fact that this water does not freeze instantly, even at freezing temperatures, is due to the high salt concentration. The blood-red iron water contains more than twice as much salt as the sea at this point. Despite this, researchers have been able to find simple creatures such as bacteria in the red water. Now tell us which of these bizarre, shocking, or extremely rare discoveries has captivated you the most. Do you believe there are aliens at the South Pole and that the soldiers' sightings were real? Let us know and share your opinion with us in the comments.